hello and welcome to this video about packing your surfboards for travel so the first step is to get a proper travel bag like this to open up you can see that you can fit more than one board this specifically fits two boards existing to separate the boards and give them some protection and you can lock your boards inside like this it has walls, thick walls and thick protection and not all the board which is very different this bag from a daily use bag like this one which is a lot less thick and offers a lot less protection for your board so ready for that one get one of these so second step is to get bubble wrap paper you can see this one you can buy it in your department stores to wrap your boards around get this also try to get some of this sponge material which you can wrap your, the rails of your boards with this it's going to protect the rails of your boards if you want to so remove the wax from your board so it doesn't melt also remove the leash and the fins from your board so they don't damage your board while traveling but you can buy one of these at your local department store to give extra protection to the rails so you can open up then you can start wrapping your board with plenty of this kind of paper. If you have a stretching mattress or a yoga mattress, you can use it in the bottom of the bag on the top between boards to give it a bit more uh, protection, a bit more cushioning. So. You can also use it to a bit of cardboard. Add your towels, beach towels, board shorts and anything that is soft here to give it extra cushion in the nose of the boards here it's going to give extra protection same here on the bottom hotel of the board so if the board is standing up it's not going to be damaged so final chapter final part is to lock the board inside so they are tight so they don't move around close the bag this is why we use those towels there now the poles and the board is standing up there's some cushioning there take the fins out take the leash out carry it in a different bag than this don't carry anything that is um, solid uh, hard plastic or something here because it might damage your board with pressure if the boards get pressured another option can be using your daily bag inside the bag it gives it Lots of extra protection to make sure it's one that, it's, that it fits inside. It can actually be a good tip if you are going to travel to a place where then you need to travel with only one board. You don't want to travel with the whole travel bag in this one uh, daily use bag. Could also be an option. So one board already inside. Again, adding another board inside. On top of it, make sure they are facing the same side so those and those are here also the next step is to reinforce the nose 
part of the ports and the tail as they are super uh, frail and they may may break during transportation if they are placed vertically so we can add you, know, you have your board shorts vest, uh, they open vest, your wetsuit, uh, towels, whatever you're bringing, just put it here on the top of the board, right, start putting here, and also at the tail of the board. Last tip is to maybe wear a locker here to make sure nobody is going to open your boards. If the airlines need to, the airlines need to open your bag, they might have to cut your bag, so that's a downside of using lock here. In any other case, you know that if the board arrives with the lock still here, you know that nobody went to your bag. Also, most travel bags have a place to put your tag with your name address, phone number, in case your know, luggage gets uh, misplaced. Okay, that's about it, I think. Happy journey.